guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and it's time to head on back to Limbloom Castle on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Welcome back, guys. Last time we explored the city of Limbloom, and we got some pretty cool treasure out of the deal. Met some pretty interesting people, including, well, including a movie star who is very, very, very popular here. Holy cow. I mean, so popular, in fact, that Zidane got told off by the female fan base of said movie star. Get the fuck out of here! We don't know you! Do you know him, ladies? No. Stop bugging us. Damn. Well, excuse me for existing. <laughs> Otherwise than that, though... Oh, yeah, that crappy-ass cargo ship is still here. <laughs> Not that... <coughs> Oh, damn. Sorry about that, viewers. Not that we need that anymore. Don't worry, I don't have COVID or anything, viewers. I'm just fucking coughing, okay? Speaking of which, let me get a sip of coffee. Ah, there you go. Mmm, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a way to start the episode, huh? <laughs> don't worry, viewers. I'm okay. Jeez. In any case, ah, Steiner! What are you doing here? Huh? You! What have you done with the princess? Where is she? Oh, take it easy, dude. I just got here. The princess is gone. She was supposed to stay in this room. Maybe she went out for a little walk. How can you be so calm? This is a very serious matter. Have you forgotten all the danger she faced just to get here? What if something terrible happens to her? What am I doing here? I must go find her. Out of my way. Okay. Like, seriously, this guy never ceases to amaze me. Huh, <sighs> whatever. I wonder where she went. Yeah, where did she go? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> in my throat. What the? That song. I've heard it somewhere before. That sweet voice. It's Dagger. She's upstairs. But how do we get up there, though? Oh, right, the lift! I talk about. Whoa, sorry, hold on there, dude. Only authorized personnel can use the lift. Aw, oh, bitch. I gotta get past this guy somehow. Maybe if I disguise myself as a guard, he'll let me through. Yeah, that's the ticket. But who are we gonna find to um, use as a, um, a proxy for that? Hmm. Ah, I think I see someone down there. Maybe we can steal his garb? Huh? <clears throat> hey, wake up! Huh? What? What? I just saw a suspicious character wandering around. Very sus. What? Where? Upstairs. Follow me. <laughs> Sucker. Yo, dude! It, in here! Huh? <laughs> Alright, show yourself, you bastard! Hey, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> that was too easy. Wow. Literally easy. I should be able to get on the lift now. <laughs> hey, dude. Uh, Koopo. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> good day, sir. The lift is always running fine, as always. Ah, cool. I, I guess they respect the ones in, in the um, darker tin suits. Huh, well, there you go. Seniority, viewers. Seniority. In any case, ah, let me ditch that sexy disguise. Not really. All right. Otherwise than that, though, don't go in there because the guards. Yeah, just don't. I mean, it's not like they'll really like see you or kick you out or anything. I think they just say, "Hey, what are you doing up here?" Huh? What? A girl? Oh yeah, I saw her go upstairs just a little while ago. Huh? Is that so? In any case, let's go see if we can find her. Alright viewers, I'm back. Just need to take a quick sip of coffee and just to chill my throat a little bit. It's what I get for recording in the morning. hi yi yi In any case, is she up here? Dagger? Uh, CGI. Apparently, Dagger is the Pigeon Whisperer. 
Hey! Hey! How's it going? I see you like pigeons. Uh, I still... This CGI is always... It's just so beautiful. There's something about this CGI that... No matter how old I get, and I see this CGI play... It just reminds me so much of when I first played this game, back in the day. Oh, that CGI is just memorable. In any case, nice song. How did you get up here? This is a restricted area. Come on, I do this thing for a living. I am a thief, after all. I sneak into shit. Oh, yeah, you remember a Tantalus. It must have been easy for you. Hmm. Uh. Huh. Okay, then. <laughs> Ooh, what a view. Hey, there's a telescope. Let's go check it out. Come on. Huh? Okay, I got nothing else better to do. Hmm. Let's see. In any case, with the telescope here, you can actually look around to areas that are outside of Limbloom within Limbloom territory. Let's check around. Uh, what's this? Marshland. There's probably a lot of weird things living there. Maybe I should check it out sometime. The Swampy Badlands? Maybe. <laughs> it does look like a swamp. So, hmm, what else can we find? Uh, hey! There's a chocobo! Maybe I can catch a chocobo in that forest. Question mark forest, huh? Let me guess, chocobo forest? There's always at least one chocobo forest in every Final Fantasy game. Uh, Herbs Mountains. Alexandria is beyond those mountains. I bet they're looking for us. Yeah, I bet. Hmm, there's South Gate. I wonder if they started repairing it yet. It'll probably take a while to fix everything. Yeah, that yeah, we did we did kinda wreck we did kinda wreck up the thing. <laughs> Not that it was our fault, mind you. Uh oh, what's this? Another herbs mountains. Those are the mountains that surround Bermisha. I guess the best way to get there is through the cavern at its base. Hmm. What else could we find here? Let's take a look around. Uh... Was that... Ah, uh, wait a minute! Sibel River. That river flows right by South Gate. You can get to the get to the gate by walking along the river. Let me see. Uh, sure. Hmm. How's the view? I just started looking in it. <laughs> no. I made so much trouble for everyone. Uncle Sid knew everything. That's why he asked Tantalus to get me out of Alexandria. No matter how hard I try, I'm always a step behind in everything. I'm so helpless. Wow. I feel, I feel so bad for her. It's like, she wants to help her mother. Her mother... It is a bit of a bitch. She tried to kill her daughter just to get her back. Something is very wrong in Alexandria. And she's trying to do her best to help. But she just feels so left behind and everything that even she doesn't know how, how best to go about helping her. What's wrong? That's when I can only surmise what she's thinking anyway. Zidane, why did you come here to help me? Why did you bring me here to Limbloom? Is it because your boss ordered you to? <clears throat> no. <laughs> I just wanted to help you, that's all. The boss didn't agree with me, so I ended up leaving the band. Really? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This isn't the first time I've left. Yeah. Every time I leave my, my thieving trope and stuff like that, they always, break, they always welcome me back. I mean, I am their ace thief, after all. Zidane. Yeah? Um, how are you planning to abduct me? Hmm. <laughs> We're going to put you to sleep with sleeping weed and then kidnap you. Sleeping weed? Wow. So, you were basically going to drug her and then kidnap her. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> it's mostly used for kids, but a big dose can knock out an adult just as easily. What the f- Wait a minute. So, are you talking about drugging kids and then drugging adults with the same thing? 
Okay, th this combo just got a bit awkward and weird. I guess you didn't need it since I came along on my own. Well, I'm assuming this sleeping weed is some kind of like sleep grass or or something like like some kind of sleeping pills or some shit. Just drug. You're still drugging people. Hey, would you mind if you would you mind giving me some? I had some hard time sleeping lately. I don't think that's a good idea. You're only 16, so you might get addicted. <laughs> Maybe all you need is some company, eh? Oh please, do you think I'm that naive? <coughs> um, um, no, no. <laughs> Can't blame me for trying. <laughs> um, that song, were you singing it in the village of Dolly the other night? Yes, so you were up that night. What is that song anyway? I don't know. I can't even remember where I learned it. I sing it whenever I feel sad or lonely. For some reason, it comforts me. It reminds me I'm not alone. I guess it's a mystical song. Let me hear it again. Hmm. That song, there's something merely mysterious about it. Hmm. I never expected to find such fine armor in a place like this. Uh, viewers, isn't that the armor that we examined a couple episodes ago? That, like, Zidane was saying, who would buy this cheap-ass shit? And I said Steiner, and then Steiner goes and looks at it. Wow. Yes, I'll buy that one, too. Who knows when that Bronn will start another war? What? The Queen would never start a war. You dare speak ill of the Queen? Who the fuck are you? I, uh, an armor collector. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, in that case, can you recommend some good armor? Uh, I, I must go. Okay. The fuck was... I'm just imagining what that old man is, like, is saying. Like, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> Beats me, dude. <laughs> go, Knights of Pluto. Yeah! What are those things? They look so stupid. Especially that fat elephant in the front. I'm going to I'm gonna take Sid's airships and destroy them. Hey, cut it out! You broke my night! I'm going to tell your mom. Mom! <laughs> Royal action figures? Wow. They even got a miniature brawn. Why would anyone want that? <laughs> Literally. Those black mangers were like toys being controlled by someone. Yeah, they were. What do they need them for? Ah, there's that Freya chick again. The sky looks ominous. Something's about to happen. Um, I don't see anything wrong with the sky. It looks just as blue as any other day. Hmm. Sir Fratley, where are you? I need you. I need you in my bosom. Uh, no, no, no. I, I just need you. Ha! Wow. She must... Freya must be some kind of dragoon is kind of character. She just jumps with, like, no fear whatsoever. Cool. Okay, this should work now. It's no... Sire, it's no good. What? We can't stabilize the engine system. It can't run for more than ten minutes. Damn! Uh, my mind hasn't been the same since I became an Oglop. Yeah, I got a bug brain. Hey, Dagger. So, when do you want to go on that airship cruise? What are you talking about? Oh! Oh, I, I asked the girl at the... Oh, never mind. Well, it sounds like you asked the wrong girl. Oh, wait, I, 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 I can explain. Why bother? <laughs> go have a wonderful time. Asshole. Oh, shit, she's mad. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. How about this, then? If I get first place in tomorrow's hunting festival, you and me will go out on a date. What, what does that have to do with me? Whoa! Oh, come on, please! <sighs> you are such a kid. Fine. Okay, it's a date! Ha! <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. I guess the date is on. It may be a tradition, but this is a dreadful festival. So many lives lost every year, especially because of him. Hardly. This festival is a test of manhood. I tingle with excitement every year. Yeah, you gotta love that manhood. Mm. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Two types of manhood. 
This is this is the last carriage. All the preparations for the festival of the hunt are now complete. Open the gates. Uh, I mean, whoa, shit. Uh, uh, fuck. Yeah, the things have been freed. What? We haven't even received the minister's authorization yet. We believe they're going to release him any minute. Uh, all right. Release the moose before they let him loose. Hurry! Run! Whoa! They got fangs and moose up in this bitch? Oh, so that's what this festival is. Makes sense. All's ready. <laughs> Stand by. This year's specimen is perfect. Nothing can stop him. Whoa! <laughs> what power! They don't call me a Pokemon breeder for nothing. Holy, what is that? Make him stop. It's too early to let him loose. How? I have no control over him. I'm just a monster breeder. Damn it. Open the gate. He's going to tear it apart. Go, Zygnaw. Zygnaw? Whoa, that is a big-ass bull. With two frontal horns. Oh, he might be a boss. Where's the Dane? Princess, you might actually enjoy it. Okay. I wonder if Zidane has improved his skills. Ah, gang's all here. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Alright, let's begin. Hunter is on your mark. Ferocious beasts have swar are swarming about the town. The bigger the catch, the higher the score. The time limit is 12 minutes. Use the ear calves to go to other districts. Once you lose in battle, you'll be forced to retire. The winner will be crowned Master Hunter and receive the Hunter's Reward. Who will come out on top? Or bottom? Let's find out. What do you wish for your Hunter's Reward? I'll go with Gil all the way, even though that's kind of stupid. I'll take an add-on, which is the best one. And you, Master Vivi? What? I, I never signed up! I thought you would do well, so I signed you up. Don't worry, with your black magic, it'll be a piece of cake. I, I don't know. That was very inconsiderate of you, Zidane. Yeah, Vivi's like nine! And you're sticking up the face off against wild um, beasts alone? Oh, how about this? If you win, I'll fix you up with a date with Dagger. Me and the princess? Shh, keep it down. Steiner will hear you. What was that? You just menaced, you just mentioned the princess. Damn it, Vivi! <laughs> what evil deeds are you plotting now? It's nothing, right, Vivi? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what would you like for your reward? Um, I'll take a card. Okay, Gil and add on in a card. <laughs> Notice the dot that dot before he said a card. Like, who the fuck would pick a card for a reward for a fucking hunting festival? Huh, <sighs> whatever. Alright. Now, Zidane will start in the theater district. Freya will start in the industrial. And Vivi will start in the business district. Let's begin! Right. Save your game if you need to, viewers. Just so you know. Or just a little pro tip. Now, basically, what we need to do, um, we, we need to take the ear cab that's outside the castle, which is how we got in here earlier. Basically, take the ear cab, and you'll automatically be sent to the theater district. Now, obviously, there is one particular prize I want to go for for winning this one. Kill and a card is kind of pointless. So, my gist is to have Freya win this uh, competition. Why? Well, the other one is actually pretty good. For her and later for us you'll find out what I mean soon enough as we start this festival basically well let's get this little scene out the way first Ooh, look at these people such rudeness princess they're treating you like a commoner oh be quiet we get a great view from here hmm, you're right I can see the entire town princess look master Vivi is also participating I can't believe it. He seemed reluctant earlier. Master Vivi! The princess and I are rooting for you! Come on, Vivi! You can do it! No, Master Vivi! Oh my gosh, look out! Oh, I can't watch anymore. You can't win by just running. A good offense is the best defense. Attack! Ah, you can't lose to that monkey, Zidane. Yes! That's it! Yes! Yes! Now's your chance! One more time! Fire up! No, no! Uh, Vivi, behind you! Yes, go! <laughs> Steiner's really getting into it. <laughs> okay. 
But then again, we got 12 minutes. But then again, as soon as we get here, the timer is already at 11.50. That's kind of stupid as fuck. And yeah, when you're in the menu, the timer goes quick that way too. Basically, what you want to do, equip Beast Killer, equip Bird Killer, equip Add Status, and um, that should be good to go there. Alright, let's get out of here. Hurry! Alright, we're all set to go. Great Scott! But yeah, basically, in every district that we go to, Zidane must kill all the enemies. Killing all the enemies will reward Zidane with the needed hunting pool. But these moves are easy, because we fought their asses earlier in the game, so... We already know how shit weak they are. But they're so adorable! It's just, so, it's just such a shame to kill them. But well, it has to be done, so... Oh well, fuck them. <laughs> Cuteness is not badass today. But in any case, let's wait for this trick sp um, this bird to come over here. Almost spoiled the name in advance. But in any case, we got a new enemy here! Trick Sparrow! And yeah, I just spoiled, almost spoiled him like a second before he showed up. 191 HP! And he is to win! So as such... Out of my way, bitch! <laughs> and yeah, he has nothing really good to steal. You can, st you can steal an Echo Screen from him, but who cares? He also has the, um... Who's this Lonnie chick? Huh, oh well. What? Uh oh, we got another one. Come on, bitch, come at me! Huh, whatever. But then again, yeah, you have to go to the theater district first. Obviously, that's where you start. Now, the industrial district, you don't have to go there, but I recommend that you go there anyway. Get the points necessary from the enemies in the place, and then immediately afterwards, go to the business district. But yeah, all the enemies here are just so fucking common. Take care of the fangs. And I'll meet you at the end of this area. Alright, viewers and Mac. Um, I took care of the enemies in the industrial district. Now we're heading to the business district now. Surprisingly, Vivi is in the lead. I am very, very shocked at that. But well, that's just how it worked out, I guess. <laughs> now, in order, um, in order for um No! <sighs> Damn it! Leave the area! Dumbass. Not paying attention, I pressed the wrong button. Uh-oh. Alright, viewers of Mac. Now, Vivi just ran past me being chased by a fang. <laughs> but around the 4.30ish mark, that's when the boss will show up here. There he is! Zidane! Help! Hey, big boy, turn around! Damn, you're ugly. Allow me to help. Freya! How's it going? Okay, but if I... But I get to finish him. I got a date with Dagger on the line. Ugh, you're so ridiculous. Fine, as you wish. So it's time for a boss fight versus Zygno. Now, Zygno has 1,500 HP, and I don't think he has any weaknesses. Nope, I don't think he does. But in any case, in order for Freya to win this one, first things first, steal his shit. Now, Zidane has to lose this competition. First things first, Get the items, and um, after that, what the hell? Well, he, I got the mental gloves at least. The thing is, Zygno has the um. That's odd. Zygno should have a needle fork on him, but for some odd reason, it's not um. I didn't get it. Weird. Huh, whatever. Well, we got the mental gloves. That's all that matters. That's a new, um, hand gear for, um, for Steiner. But in any case, in order to, for Frey to win, Zidane has to die in this fight. And, sadly, viewers, you cannot have Zidane or Freya kill this boss. Knowing you, basically. But forward! Alright, almost there. Perfect! Alright, we did it! It's all good. It's all good. We got him. We got him. It's all good. Did I win? Well, I retired. <laughs> Vivi was definitely not in the lead. That was marvelous. All of you. 129 points. Congratulations. Yes! Alright! Freya won. We grant you the title Master Hunter and your reward. Congrats. 
In the case for winning that one as Freya, you get the Coral Ring! Yes, that is one of the best accessories at this point in the game for Freya. Oh yeah, spoiler alert, Freya might be joining the party. We got the name her earlier after all. In the case, we also get a new key item, the Master Hunter. Basically, you're, um, you're collectible. My hat's off to you, Freya. I didn't know how, I don't know how you racked up so many points. I totally failed at the end, so that probably explains the meaning. The fruits of my training, I suppose. And of course, you falling on your ass. <laughs> Regent. Huh? Oh, shit! Please forgive my intrusion. I bring urgent news from our king. The king of Bramisha? Sire, you must not let him see you like this. Take a good look at him. An injury has blinded him. Continue. An unknown... Our kingdom is being attacked by some unknown force. We are severely outmatched. Please send reinforcements immediately. The enemy looks like an army of mangers wearing steeple crowned hats. The king and I are old friends. We'll, sing, we'll send reinforcements immediately to Bermisha. Thank you, Regent. The king and all of Bermisha will be most grateful. I must return now. Take him to the infirmary! It's too late. He's gone. Oh my gosh! It's a miracle he even made it this far. I can't believe this is happening. Didn't you- Didn't Freya say Bermisha was like her hometown or something? Wow. What, what timing on this? This is terrible. Because of the festival, there are hardly any men left in the castle. It will take time to mobilize. We have no choice. Call back the 4th Aerial Division patrolling the border. But if we recall the 4th, we'll lose our eyes over Alexandria. Bermisha is our ally. We must help them. Steeple crown hats. They might be black mangers like Vivi. It can't be. Could, could it be Mother? Who else could it be? I must go now. I cannot, stand, I cannot sit and wait for reinforcements. I'm coming with you, Freya. No, this doesn't concern you. What's this? I'm a stranger all of a sudden? I'm not going to sit back and watch your home get destroyed, alright? Thank you, Zidane. Of course. Can I come too? I want to find out who they really are. Sure. You got black magic, so you'll be fine with us, baby. Alright then, let's go to Bramisha. Princess, this is a foreign matter. It has nothing to do with us. Steiner is right. We don't know if Alexandria is involved. But if black mangers are involved... Zidane, you know what I'm talking about. Hmm. If Mother is behind this, I'll make her stop, I promise. And you couldn't make her stop prior because... I think you should stay here. What? Nani? We don't know what to expect there. But I've already faced great danger coming here. What's the difference? Dagger, this is war. A lot of people are going to die. I know that. How did you feel when you saw the Bermesian soldier die just now? Sad, of course. Just sad? Weren't you scared too? Obviously, you haven't realized how dangerous it's going to be. You could get killed. This is no time to be talking about convincing your mother of anything. But... Now's not the time to argue. He's right, we must go to Bermisha at once. Zidane, are you sure you don't want to bring Dagger along? We kind of, I don't know, need a healer? We can't just go with a thief, a dragoon, basically, and a black mage with no healer. Okay, will you open the dragon's gate? Of course, if you're going by foot, leaving by that gate is the best way. Let us eat while we wait for the gate to open. <laughs> Might as well. Bermisha is in imminent peril. War is imminent, but let's go and stop and have some brunch. <laughs> Pretty much. Holy shit, what a spread. I'll just sit on top of the soup, if you don't mind. Yay, I'm so hungry. The Festival of the Hunt Feast is one of our oldest traditions. It began well over five centuries ago. It is customary to eat everything with your hands, even the soup. So go on before it gets cold. Thank you, Uncle. Oh, wow. It's so good. Mm. Oh, so good. Just eat. We can't do anything till the gate opens. You're right. Mmm. Oh, gosh. This is good. This is wonderful. Princess, how is everything? Look at Steiner stuffing his face. Why aren't you eating? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. Everything is so delicious. Indeed. Especially this beef. It is superb. Who's the chef here? God damn. 
Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm having a food orgasm here. I'm so full. I'm getting sleepy now. And that's what happens when you eat too much, Phoebe. Oh! What the? What the? The food is poison! Dagger? Uh, how can I be so careless? I'm starting to feel sick. F forgive me, princess. I should have tasted it for poison. While you were stuffing your face. That's impossible. There shouldn't be any in your dish. What? Now that you mention it, I feel fine. How did, how did you know? Princess, you didn't! It's not poison. It's just the medical herbs Mike gave me. Weed. <clears throat> Believe me, that was not what I had planned. Steiner, I have to make my own decisions. I had no choice. Uncle Sid would never let me leave the castle. That's because he's concerned about you. I understand, but... No, you don't understand. War is a terrible thing. You must never experience it as I have. I'm sorry, Princess. I cannot follow any orders that might put your life in danger. What if Alexandra is behind the attack on Bermisha? It could lead to war between the three great nations. Many innocent people will die. As the Princess of Alexandria, there must be something I can do. I have to help Mother. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Hmm. Very well. Princess, I'll follow you wherever you choose. Thank you. Let's go before everyone wakes up. I'm sorry, Zidane. Come on! Wow, so that's how it is? Okay, well, fuck you then, bitch. Dagger, where are you going? So she drugs us and then runs away. Wow. Wait, excuse me, princess. Must have been some kind of sleeping meds. It was sleeping weed. We, we've been had. I gave her some because she said she was having trouble sleeping. <laughs> I'm impressed. There's more to that girl than meets the eye. <laughs> I know, right? She drugged all of us. <laughs> we should be so impressed that she drugged us. That could have had some dangerous chemicals in it that probably almost probably would have killed us if it, if it wasn't for that sleeping agent. <laughs> but yeah, she's so impressive. Damn, what the heck is she thinking? Maybe she's heading to Bermisha. Then you might be able to catch up with her. Phoebe, wake up. We're going to Bermisha. Yeah, get your ass in gear. Let's head for, the, let's head for Gizmo Luque's grotto. Once we pass through the grotto, we'll be in Bermisha. You can leave from the Dragon's Gate located on the base level. Right. But in any case, from here on, Freya joins the party permanently. Woohoo! More party members get to those eggs. Now, Freya is a Dragoon character. Now, as such, she's basically a tank in her own right. So, I'm going to put her in the front. Vivi in the middle. There you go. Now, equip Freya. Well, she comes equipped with that javelin. It has Dragon Killer on it. It deals lethal damage to dragons. She can equip basically some of the um, stuff that Steiner can equip as well. So, I want to get her started on the Iron Helm first before the Bronze Helm. Because I want her to learn level up for the for the EXP boost that you can get from that ability. Um, the Mithril Gloves. Basically, you can learn Man Eater, which deals lethal damage to humanoid enemies. And, of course, there's Bug Killer on it. And, of course, Linda Crevez has cover. Basically, like in Final Fantasy IV, will allow you to cover and take damage in exchange for an ally. The Coral Ring has the Lancer ability on it, which will allow Freya to steal HP and MP from an enemy while dealing damage. It also absorbs Thunder Elemental attacks. This accessory will be one of the best ones in this disc, as well as the early part of this, too, for a very specific optional enemy that we can fight for at each for an EXP game. I will show off that enemy later on. Insomnia basically prevents you from being put in the sleep status. I want to have Freya work on this first and then pass it down to the guys. So, there you go. Alright, with Freya equipped and ready to go, we're all set. So, make sure Vivi is still in the back row. Don't have him in the front row, which is, should be obvious enough. Now that I mentioned it, yeah, Freya is at level 15. So, like I said, uh, new characters that we get in the party... They will start off at basically the same or near the same level that Zidane is at. So, there you go. Now, before we head to the Dragon's Gate, let's head to the Serpent's Gate. Forward. There you go. Yeah, this leads to the harbor, but there's nothing here. Except this treasure chest, which contains a weird card. Or Wyatt card. Whatever. Alright, now, let's ride to the Dragon's Gate. There you go. Alright, we're almost out of here. Let's see. I thought there was an item over here. Uh, where's that item? 
Oh, that's odd. Hey, dude! Can I help you, Kubo? Got a letter? Oh, from Stiltskin! Let's see. I left, I left Limbloom and headed north. I walked through the mist and Gizmaluke to reach Burmesia for the very first time. It's raining, as expected. I'm going to look for shelter now. You went to Burmesia? It might be dangerous there, Kubo. <laughs> yeah, I bet. There's like a war on the prank there. Why would he go there? That's, this Stiltskin guy's got some major stone, got some major balls. I'll give him that much. But in any case, this guy has an item shop here. Stock up on anything that you might need. Because without Dagger in the party, we are not going to have a healer for quite some time. Now, we will get somewhat of a makeshift healer. And by makeshift, I mean not a really good healer. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm stocking up to max on most of everything. So, yeah, get what you need. Come over here, get this. Oh, it's just another tent. Not that I needed that. But it's there. I didn't want to leave yet, but okay, there you go. If we talk to the guard there, he just says this gate leads you to um, Gizmaluke's Grotto, which it does. And in the case, viewers, we are back on the world map, but now we're in Limpung territory, which means we got new enemies and new characters potentially waiting for us. And Chocobo tracks. What does this mean? What awaits us on our journey to Burmesia? Find out next time. You guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to see more gaming vids for me. Hit the bell so you don't fight whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, dudes and dudes, Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, bros. Smell you later.